to another Q&A with Christopher and myself. I put a little question box up on Instagram and asked, or just said basically you could ask whatever like couples Q&A questions, but like to try to make them Christmas related for Vlogmas, of course. And I feel like we got a lot of questions. So Rico's gonna ask the questions and we will give you our best answers. Which cat destroys the most Christmas decorations? Layla. It would have been Layla, but she's been better the past couple years. It was really the first year. She would just like paw them off the bottom. And then she laid on the whole bottom like rung of the Christmas yeah, tree. she would get in the tree. <laughs> and all the limbs and just all the limbs would start falling down. And she just knocked, knocked ornaments off. That's yeah. about it. Not yeah. too bad. Honestly, who's broken the most? You. You broke Logan's. I broke one. Out of the cats, it would have been Layla. But now they're all good. They really don't bother the tree. How do you decide whose family you spend each holiday with? I feel like we've been lucky with this. It's just kind of like set. Yeah, well we have, most of our family is local. Yeah. So we try, if we can, we try to split. Like we'll do, we'll do both. Yeah, thanks. Both in a day. Christmas definitely we do, you know. Christmas we go to everyone. Go to everyone. Thanksgiving, your parents are gone in Georgia mm -hmm. and none of his siblings really go anymore. So we are now hosting Thanksgiving but we still see his family later at night. So we still see everyone. Yeah. But yeah, we are usually with my grandparents and my parents for Thanksgiving. Christmas is all over the place. We host Christmas Eve. My family's always been pretty informal and her grandparents are more formal. So yeah. we'll do like a formal dinner with them and then an informal lunch or get together for games after. Yeah, so we, we see everyone, which is really yeah. nice. What are your plans for the holidays? Nothing. I staying like home. staying home. Me too. For those who can go out and, and, and do all that, great. Good for you. I that personally, sounds that so sounds, stressful. It sounds bad. I don't like that. Having to like pack gifts and take them with you. Yeah. That sounds really like stressful. It's mainly for Christmas. Like I used to travel for Thanksgiving. We'd go to Georgia every year, which wasn't bad because I don't know. It was, I guess it was just what we did. But yeah. Christmas, I couldn't imagine being anywhere else but home. And once again, if our families didn't live here, that would be different. But yeah. home is where we want to be. Layla is having a sneezing problem right now, so don't wait her. Poor girl. Do you guys have a tradition? Christmas Eve? We have it. We host, or so it started, started last off. year, we hosted a Christmas Eve party, but we've been having a party on Christmas Eve with my family for the past six, seven years. Yeah, it started off, we would go to church Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve has always been like, meh. meh. My parents got divorced when I was really little, so Christmas Eve was always like Christmas with my mom, and then I would leave on Christmas Day to go with my dad. So we would do Christmas Eve at my mom's, we'd go to his parents, go to church, go home, and we've been together for so long, I would just like hang around with his family after, and then as his siblings started to also have significant others, they would come, and then his parents were like, well your parents are more than welcome to come, and then just got bigger and bigger. That's where he proposed. And then now we host it at our house. So that's like our really only, our tradition. Our tradition, yeah. We have like, have like, a, so we do the this Danish applesauce cake. Yeah. And then we have maybe 15 to 20 people. Yeah, at, that's a good time. He loves it. It's my favorite. I it's love. his favorite. Yeah. And he loves hosting, so it's a good time. Yeah. Favorite Christmas movie? Elf. Oh, no, no. Santa Claus. I was going to say, I like the Santa the Claus. Santa I Claus. love Santa Claus movies. They're so good Tim with Tim Allen. Allen. Tim Allen's great. Tim Honky. <laughs> it's either that. <laughs> they won't understand that. We can cut that out. That's the one I could watch every single year. We do. But it's either that or Elf. Yeah, we wa we'll watch the we watch the Tim Allen movies in order, and we also really like the Christmas with the Cranks. We watch that in Elf. It's those are like Tim Allen, yeah. No, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Those are like those are our staples. I also love um oh what's it called? It's really sad though. I don't do sad Christmas. I <laughs> know you don't. I haven't watched it. Jack Frost. Oh. His, his dad dies and then, and then he, he do it. transforms no, into a snowman. Sorry. 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 Best and worst gifts you've received in your life. From each other or just in life? Just as in general. In life. I can't remember specifically a bad gift. Like, I mean, as, as children, when you get socks and underwear, that's not your favorite. It's one of my favorites now. But no, I mean, I don't remember ever getting a bad gift. Maybe probably just an article of clothing that yeah. I don't wear. I was Not specific to anything, but I mean, there's always a couple things each year that you, you don't normally wear. Yeah, I would say 
I remember a couple times when I was younger, like grandparents or aunts and uncles that I really didn't know or talk to that much. Like they just got gift ideas from other people. And so they got me like a random toy that I was like, I don't know what this yeah. is, but. Best, that's a good question. Best gift I've ever got. Best Christmas gift I got was a engagement ring. That's for dang sure. I don't know. I get him some good gifts, but there's a she lot does. of She does, she's a great gift giver. I just, I'm trying to think. Like something I use. Like a what's a a big one? I got you an iPad, but that was, yeah, yeah, that, was that was not nah. even. Like Christmas. That was when iPads like first came out almost. That was my birthday. Yeah, I think it was. No, no, no. All of his gifts are the best. That's so hard because I never I never really got my family didn't do like you got one big gift. It was kind of like a bunch of little things. Medium, a couple medium things and a bunch of small things. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking back like bikes I I would get. Yeah. Or like game game consoles back in the day. Those were our family. Or cell gift. phones. Yeah, those were our family gifts too. Yeah. But probably like that. Probably like the, the PlayStation thing. Two when it first came out. Was yeah. Probably what I said. Material gifts or experience gifts. <laughs> if I'm being honest, material gifts. Yeah, I would say material gifts only because I like experience gifts. I I like. I like planning out experiences. I don't think I would necessarily love being surprised by those, especially if it was like a vacation. It would be a great surprise. I but we like enjoy, we enjoy planning that stuff together. Like when I think of experience gifts, which I've got, and I, I enjoy, correctly? I think of like sports games, like tickets to sports mm. games, which I've got of, and and those are great too. But it's really all I can think about. When you I got think me of tickets to gifts. Andy Grammer. That was fun. That yeah. was a birthday gift though. Yeah, no, I, yeah, which are, they're good, but. Yeah. So mm. let me ask you this. Do you look at when, if you got a vacation as an experience gift, you'd be like, oh crap, my first thing is we have to plan this now. I'm like. Yeah, it would almost be, a, yeah, it'd almost be a little daunting in the beginning of like, oh my gosh, are we even like available? Like what's going on that time of, like, yeah, yeah I, I like planning that stuff together and making sure if you're, cause that's a big investment. If you're going to spend that much money, I want to make sure we both want to do it just as bad. You know, not like. I never, I've never gotten like something that big. No, me neither. Big, so I don't know. Do you like to work out together or would you rather use it as a long time? We do work out together sometimes, but we usually work out fairly differently. So our then I would say styles, alone. Our training styles don't match up all the time. More so. recently, they've been more in line. But yeah, we do, we work out alone more. Yeah. How do you, how do you gift? As in, do you set a money limit? How many gifts, etc. This has changed over the years, as I'm sure it does for most couples. Like as you get older and have a real job and all this. I mean, like, but when we were young, yeah, we'd set like a price limit. Yeah. And then now, <laughs> he'll randomly, throughout December, he's like, about how many gifts do you have for me? <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll, like, talk. Like, okay. So I to got, make sure it's even. I got, like, one big one, yeah. three mediums, and four <laughs> smalls. And so we'll try to judge it by that. Yeah. Not, not really a price limit, but in our heads, we have a price limit. Like, yeah. unless it's something extravagant, like an engagement ring. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, it's normally, he, we try to get the presents even. What is a big topic you don't agree on as a couple? Ooh, that's a good question. Right? A big topic? I can think of like think of interests that we have that are very different, but we have, we see eye to eye on I feel like the big stuff. What would you consider big topics? Like aside is, from like I, I would say like maybe how you would raise a kid or how you would like how you choose to parent. We're like like if if that. if you're like no, I would I would prefer to like discipline the child versus like you're like no, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't know, like just stuff like parenting style. Well, we were raised similar in that aspect, which I think helps. Yeah, I'll give my kid a spanking for sure. <laughs> my mom is not gonna like that. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to get some some of these to the head, the back of the head. <laughs> sure. I got a slipper. <laughs> you got a slipper? <laughs> yeah, I get the belt once or twice. Whoa, really? Yeah. Spoon. Not hard. Oh, my grandma used to chase Not us hard. around wooden spoons. <laughs> Not hard at all. Um, but wait. I can't think of anything anything big that we disagree on. I was the only thing I wouldn't say where we don't disagree. It's just read different levels. Religion. We grew up differently. His family was way more religious than mine was. I, to be very honest, I grew up very confused. <laughs> so 
yeah, I would say that's the only real difference, but I'm not like closed off to anything. Like that's not anything that hinders our relationship. And we also have talked about how we would raise our kids one day. Those are all conversations we've had. What do you guys use for stocking stuffers? Ooh, okay, this is something I love that my mom did. There's always like the candy, like that's the super fun stuff. But my mom would always hide like a small, bigger present in a stocking. And I think that's fun to do because, you know, you normally just dump it out. You think it's going to be all the little like candy, basically. And like lip gloss for girls, so hand what sanitizer. My, what my mom did, which I thought was, which I, I learned to appreciate, was she would put in the stocking like necessities, that stuff we need yeah. that we wouldn't go buy for ourselves. Like, to, like a nice toothbrush. Yeah. And then um, like for me, she always does like, like, hand, like gloves, works. like nicer, like you know, snow gloves. Didn't they do? Obviously, um, candy. Worth lottery it. Tickets? Candy is going to be a great stocking stuffer. Didn't? Wasn't it your mom who did lottery? Not lottery. No. Scratch offs. She might have done scratch offs. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, no. I I like when you hide like a gift that you're totally not expecting in there, like an actual gift. I think that's fun. I think I put a necklace in yours last year. Yeah. Yeah, the one you never wear. <sighs> Moving on. When is the proper time to start celebrating and preparing for Christmas? November first. AKA Chris's birthday. <laughs> we see more I that was something we did not see eye to eye on in the beginning, but yeah, he's I it's not even a compromise. He's just fully coming over to my I don't side. mind it. Don't he mind was it so excited all. to celebrate or decorate for Christmas this year and it was amazing. I don't something. mind it at all. Yeah. How can it's you fine. not love Christmas? Did you know Chris was going to propose to you when he did? I had an inkling so we once again, this is something we had talked about. I originally thought he was gonna propose when we were in New York. That didn't happen. And then I kept thinking that Christmas Eve, like the Christmas Eve party would have been a great time because all of our family was together. But then at the same time, he was so like cool, calm and collected the whole day. Cause he didn't propose until the very end of the day. And we were together all day long. However, once it started happening, I 100% knew because every single person in that room had their phone on me. <laughs> so I was like, what is happening? So I knew it then. But up until then, I was like, it could happen. It would be a great time. Everyone in the room knew what was happening. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So everyone so had glad, their phones I'm glad out. No one, <laughs> it's no like, one told you, but. Yeah. That was fun. Good time. Gift ideas that aren't close. Worth the candy. <laughs> Absolutely worth the candy for stocking stuffers. Um, and then I think, so, okay, I, this is really specific to us, but like some of the gifts that we get the most use of out of are like the football. <laughs> we go out and play catch, like thing, activities that you can do together. And games. I think games are always games fun. Are fun. Especially if you are able to find games, like search like popular games, I don't know, that aren't as well known. Jewelry, obviously. This is always good if your if your partner likes cologne. Jewelry. Cologne and perfume, that's yeah. a staple. Smells. <laughs> Smells. Um yeah, no, I think those are always good ones. Most of the gifts I get you. Blankets are. for females, yeah. I got Kelly a blanket last year, she still hasn't opened it yet. So don't take her advice. It's like, it's one of the perfectly knit blankets and I know the cats are gonna destroy it and I don't want it to get destroyed. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to place it. It's, it's a nice blanket. It's huge. It's huge. It was like a hundred dollars. I know, I need to figure out where to put it. it. It's one of those perfectly knit blankets that you see on like Pinterest and Etsy. It's gigantic too. Yes, so if you have a recommendation for where I could put it, please let me know down below. I don't know what that means. Thank you. You put it over your body. Biggest pet peeve. Oh, he taps all the time. I have a hard time coming up. Like pet peeve about each other? He goes like this. He has a fidget. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. He moves I can't all the time. So I'm I, just have like, to act, I have to actively think about not doing yeah, it. Yeah, so I have to like, that's not really a pet peeve though. That's something I've gotten used to. There's, there's always My a My biggest couple. general pet peeve is when people don't have sense a sense of, of urgency. Yeah, same. When people just move slowly. That's my biggest pet peeve. This is always a question that I don't think of the answer until it's happening. And then I'm like, I need to remember this for the next Q and A. There was something that, that you do that is a pet peeve or we talked about. Do you not remember? Mm -mm. Oh, he will ask me a question. Oh. <laughs> it drives me nuts. He'll ask me, like, he'll be like, where, um, no, what, what's a good question? I don't know. Where's Layla, huh? Like he doesn't even give me any time to respond. And it, I'm like, you, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. You gave me 0.2 seconds. I haven't said anything yet. Huh? Like I said, <laughs> sense of urgency. <laughs> like, she needed I'm thinking, I don't know. Do you and Chris give each other lists or is it a complete surprise? Complete surprise. 
Yeah, it's. I feel like the older you get, it's so hard to come up with a list. Like, I'll ask her a couple times, like, what do you want for Christmas? But she never gives me an answer, and I probably never give her an answer either. Except yeah. I did say what I want this year, but I don't think she's going to get it for me. Cowboy boots? Cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> who loves giving gifts and who loves receiving? We both love giving gifts. I mean, I love giving gifts, but, I mean, for being honest here, getting gifts is pretty fun, too. I like giving gifts way more than I like receiving. I like giving, I like giving more than receiving, I think, too, but giving gifts is also fun. Fun fact, when I was a What's kid, I was so in the Christmas spirit. Obviously, I was a child, though, so I had, like, no money. So I went around wrapping all of these random things I could find. So I had, like, ten things under the tree that were to my brother, Corey. Like, I had wrapped up a used <laughs> notebook. <laughs> Just because I wanted, I wanted more things under the tree, and I wanted to like give gifts. <laughs> yeah. And then he, when you asked the question about the worst Christmas gift, I'm like, I know the worst one my brother's ever gotten. All my used notebooks. That's funny. Uh, who is more excited for snow? Not me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't me. want snow. I like snow through Christmas, and then after Christmas, I don't really care for snow unless it's like the big, light, fluffy, white, beautiful. If it coats everything and then like melts really quick, cool. But yeah, after Christmas, I'm like not interested in snow, but I don't care. Favorite holiday treat? Tr treat? treat? Treat. My mom makes these cinnamon pecans. My dad, my dad, it's not a, really a treat, but we've had the other tradition my, my parents do is my dad makes a ham and cheese biscuits they that we eat on Christmas morning. They are addicting. And what kind of mustard's on those? The Dijon? Or no, it's poppy it's seed. Poppy seeds on top, yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Favorite Christmas tradition that just the two of you have? That's a good question. Um, Do we have one? Just us two? That That is the one. I don't know if you would just call that a downfall, but that is the one. I feel like we don't really have that many traditions just us two because we are around our whole family. And it's yeah. like we both really value family time. So during the holidays, if we have time, we are with family. So I feel like we don't really have a tradition. Last year was the first year in our house. So we did get to open, we opened our, a lot of our gifts here. I know that's like a lame tradition. That's what most people no, do, but like. Yeah. I don't know. We don't have really any of us to because we spend so much time during the holidays with family. So yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll that. think about that. Maybe we'll think about doing the tradition. I'm sure as. Christmas movies, I guess you could. We watch a lot of Well, it's true. I, yeah, I guess going, but we always watch, we always watch the Santa Claus movies. Those are ones we all enjoy. So yeah, I would say watching the Christmas movies. I guess. If you want to count that but <laughs> as as we grow a family that will be different obviously yeah. but for now we're with our families how to keep things spicy in long-term relationships we've never been long term no that's long distance oh long distance <laughs> sorry sorry I'm like what how to keep things you spicy? Have to tell me no no we've never been long term <laughs> no, <never> really <laughs> sorry my bad what are you gonna say uh, no, no 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 we've never been long term how to keep things spicy Come on, let me know. You just started I don't know. That's, no, no, no. That's, a tough, that's a tough question. I feel like I answered this one the last time, so you, you've you got the floor here. Spicy? Saying what you just said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Just being super dismissive and <laughs> just really, you know, playing hard to get in a relationship. I'm not games. playing mind games. I'm not super. Unhealthy. No, I don't know how to answer this question. Why? I'm not, pre I'm not prepared. I mean, we're not kinky. Uh, we don't. We don't have, <laughs> I know we're not kinky. Flashback. I'm There's nothing up. we actively do to keep things spicy. So I don't know. There was a, a this girl I saw on TikTok who gave tips. So I would recommend searching it on TikTok. What'd she say? I don't remember. Yeah, what were her tips? This was months ago. I saw this. I'm actually interested. While we're on mouth. this topic, a big, I I know my opinion as a female. Lingerie worth it or overrated? Definitely worth. Really? Yeah. What do you think? It just comes off so fast. That's the thing. It's not worth know. it. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It just, it comes off so fast. I mean. Maybe that's your fault. You're it depends on how much you're spending on this. They're you're, all expensive. You're spending a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars plus. It depends the color too. Which What's one? What's your favorite color? Red, black, and white. Yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> that's the only colors I think of is red, black, and white. Yeah. I mean, go for it. Well, no, I was gonna say that's a way to like, I was gonna say that's a good way to like, I guess, keep it like spicy. But it's so, most of lingerie is so expensive. And it does, it comes off so quick. So it's like, oh, great. <laughs> cool. 
Ringo's like, you're I mean, taking if, it if off you too are, quick. If you are, if you are definitely, if you are struggling to make things happen for whatever reason, it may be worth a, you know, it's a little catalyst to get things going. Mm. I don't know. Might need to see a doctor then if we can't get things going. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. It's still Viagra. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't know. If you have any good advice for how to spice up a relationship, also comment down below because clearly we have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm sorry. We can't. That is it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, uh, including the last like cringy one because clearly we have, we have no answers for that. But yeah, there's lots of Vlogmas videos coming. So hopefully you enjoyed the ones up until this point and the Christmas themed Q&A. And we will see you in the next video.